Grab yourself a resistance band and let's have a look at one of my favourite drills to help your running technique. Hey there folks, it's James here from Kinetic Revolution. As you can see, I'm out here taking Charlie for a little bit of a walk. And I wanted to quickly talk about a video that I posted up on Facebook yesterday. The video showing a great running technique drill, particularly using a resistance band. It got a whole load of interest, so let's have a look at it now. Good, looking your heels up towards your bum there. Keep that belly button gently, gently drawn in. Feeling like you're just staying nice and tall, but putting enough forward lean into the band so it doesn't pull you back. Another 10 seconds, and I'll get you out of the band and take a quick little run off to feel that crossover effect. Good. So the video itself was, as I said, receiving a fair amount of interest yesterday, but there's one thing it lacks, and that's a little bit of context. So I wanted to record this today to give that context. Particularly using this as a drill to help people technique-wise, help refine their running form, and specifically focus on two areas. Help think about pelvic position, Often we speak about getting those hips up and forwards. I spend a lot of time, particularly in the workshops that I, uh, that I deliver and the one-to-one -one sessions, talking about making sure that everything starts with pelvic position, posture, etc. This is a great way of starting to feel the right position and also building in a little bit of another element, which is that forward lean. So the band specifically placed around the hips pulls your hips back as you're running on the spot. You're trying not to be pulled back with the band. So what you end up doing as you're running there on the spot is to push forward against the tension in the band. That push forward as we're jumping from one leg to the other leg as you're running there in place, forces you on that standing leg as it's there in that standing position momentarily to give that little bit of a push into hip extension. It's forcing those extensors to work that little bit harder, which when we take the band off and get you running, all of a sudden you'll feel that we've begun to fire up those extensors. Now where I'm talking about taking the band off and getting you running, the context is I like to get people starting out with a few sets of run for 20 to 30 seconds with the band, just running in place, feeling that push against resistance, and then quickly jump out of the band and run 60, 70 yards, just an easy set of, an easy set of strides, out feeling the same position posturally as they were trying to achieve in the band. Back into the band, do it again, do that four or five times over, feel that crossover. A lovely way of beginning to add in some technique focused work into a warm up. Okay, so have a think about that. Make sure you're staying nice and tall. We don't want you to pull back against the band. We want you working against the band to push your hips forwards and that little forward lean. Again, think about making this whole, tall, long, whole body forward lean. Give that a go, see how you get on. Speak to you soon. Bye now.